Let it roll, get bold. I just can't hold back and forth because I'm a man with soul and control and effects. So what the heck? Rock the disco tech in this groove is what's next. Big Daddy K, what's up everybody? It's your man Soapbox Rock, day 43. Releasing mediocrity. Doing it this way, that way, and every which way. Man, I'm feeling good. I hope everyone else is feeling great themselves. It's a nice, beautiful, sunny day outside. But it's cold. And it is freezing. It's about like seven degrees. <sighs> but I'm here. The way I'm supposed to be. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for subscribing. Checking it out. Commenting sharing, liking, appreciate all of the great people. Man, today I want to talk to y'all about being broke, but not broken. Broke is some mediocre BS. I'm just gonna be honest with y'all, it's some mediocre BS. Being broke is mediocre. Man, it's mediocre. But we all go through a cycle. So, I went through a long cycle of being broke. <laughs> Long one. But in the process of being broke, it taught me a lot of things about myself. It also taught me about resolve. I'm gonna show y'all something. I'm almost embarrassed to show it, but I'm gonna show it anyway. This was my link card for when I was broke. I never once seen myself walking into that office to the day happened when I had went two weeks with no food period I mean I'm just drinking water to stay full and you know water has no taste and when your taste buds are so used to having delicious enticing morsels of food going down it all the time your gullet <laughs> you just miss having those things you know it ain't nothing worse than going on an accidental fast. I'm just being honest with y'all. There's nothing worse than that. So anyway, being broke is, is being mediocre. Now, I'm not saying like I was broken. I wasn't. You know, I always had the aspirations and the goals and the destinations of where I was going to go. I was just in that spot where I didn't know how to really like shake it up a lot. How to like, what was I doing wrong? So, give y'all a story about me being broke. I had seen this young lady I was interested in, been interested in her for a while. And so uh, I was invited out to her birthday party. So I went to her birthday party and I was feeling myself, you know, like, yeah, I'm gonna <clears throat> talk to this sister. So I went ahead and, you know, talked to her, exchanged numbers, started talking on the phone, started hanging out, started liking each other, right? So um, I told her my situation. He's like, hey, I ain't got no money. I'm on link, you know, man, I'm trying to bust through this real estate stuff. I'm trying to make it happen for myself. You know, it just ain't clicking right now, but that don't mean I give up. So she, she, she sounded like she was amenable. She was with it, like, okay, cool. Let's, you know, it's cool. Time progresses, time progresses. I mean, when she went to a wedding one day, the next day she wanted to holler at me, right? <laughs> so then, after uh, the conversation, the first thing she, when the conversation first started, the first question she asked me was like, you know, I'm kind of concerned about your financial situation. Like, you know, what's, how do you plan on rectifying that? So I think I, I said something to the effect of like, well, you know, it's my situation, you know. I wouldn't engage with you, you know, you know, knowing that my situation was like this, you know, on a serious, serious level, you know. I thought, you know, we was building up, you know, at the time. And so something happened, some, some, she kept asking me further questions. So I started getting into my emotions, right? I'm like, what? Man, what she think she better than me? Cause she made way more money than me, you know? <laughs> so anything, anyway, um, conversation ended and Next thing I know, maybe the next day or so, um, <laughs> I see a, I see some stuff going on, some action going on on Facebook, 
it, my name wasn't used, but I could tell I kind of inspired this conversation. Um, my situation inspired that conversation about, you know, not being broken or anything like this. And so then this Facebook page jumped up, right? I think it was called The Musings of Broke Dudes. And I seen a like she was one of the moderators of the page and I'm just like, man, they going in on like dudes who are just broke. And I mean, it's, 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 it's what's sad about it is like, it's black women attacking black men. You know, that was the sad thing about it. But anyway, as it, it was progressing, um, and like, I just never fed into the stuff on Facebook. I never responded to any of it, right? Because I felt like if I take the high road, you know, it'll dissipate anyway. So, uh, long story short, maybe about maybe about two months after that, um, everything started to shift. I mean, like, my money turned around. I started getting my bearings back up under me, you know. Eventually, I moved out of the 160-square-foot room I was just staying in in my man's basement. <laughs> and... Um, I got my, my, my business role in fire as like, you know, personal development, personal achievement, um, doing speeches and gaining clients and got a job at the same time. So, you know, everything like turned around, like maybe two months after that. And I'm just telling you, this long story short, people, man, just believe in yourself, you know, regardless of whatever's going on, other people don't have to believe in you. No one is, is, is entitled to see or to push you toward your goals. It's for you to push yourself towards your goal. They can't see what you see. The only thing you can do is show these people what you're going, what you're going to do, and what you're going to achieve for yourself. It's not for them to see. It's for you. And today, you know, I have no no ill wills toward that sister, man. I wish her the best. Last thing I heard, she got married and, had, and she had a baby. Peace to that. Congratulations. And um, man, people, just love yourself. You could be broke, but that don't mean you're broken. And that's the message of today. You could be broke, but that don't mean you're broken. Because when you're broken, that's when you're desolate, you're destitute. And that's something I never was. I was never desolate, I was never destitute. I was just in a situation where things weren't clicking. And so it just took a lot of, it took some maturity, it took patience, and it just took time and some adjustments. And everything started to click my way. Yo, this is Soul Boss Rock, day 43, releasing mediocrity. I love y'all. Continue to like, continue to share, continue to subscribe, and continue to, you know, comment. I really appreciate it all. I look forward to seeing y'all tomorrow on day 43. Just remember, anytime you're afraid of something, face every apprehension repetitiously. And I love y'all, and I'll be back here tomorrow. Deuces.